Hello everybody, welcome back to Get That Mouse Pointer Off The Screen, episode 2030. Uh, we're back on Not Alpha. I have ugh, done nothing. Uh, as you recall, I've already chosen my weapons for this uh, particular thing. As you recall, although Alpha was great and that was terrible damage, um, it was not saving our progress, which was not fun for us because we enjoyed progress. I was hoping that I would be able to progress basically down the Alpha path. Um, and see what, you know, a way to do in the future. I guess I probably should have at least read the patch notes so that you'll know what was changing, but I thought I'd just, you know, jump in. I'm not the type of person to plan or anything like that. So. I've gone quiet. And there is a reason behind it. And the reason is, yeah, dog barking. That's all right. Not my dog. Oh, wait a minute. That's my dog. Jen's problem, she's downstairs. Remember that time when Jen brought me tea and biscuits while I was recording? Wasn't that nice? Isn't she a doll? <laughs> it's in such a sarcastic way. I don't mean it like that. I brought my own tea and biscuits this time, so if you hear a pause and a slurp and a crunch, you know what happened. Uh, this is interesting. I'm going to do this, but then... Wait, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> do this. There we go. So we got. Uh, I'm going to use a torch as a um, assistance. That's not the word. Um, sort of a, a an auxiliary damage type weapon. You're not picking those up anymore because it's not alpha anymore. So we can lay some fire down on the ground, make sure they're getting nice and burninated, and then start hacking at them with fire. Now, obviously, I have already changed my playstyle to accommodate the. Um, the, the alpha changes, which I was really, really into. Not least, uh, last but not least, and first but certainly not least. Just chop and take a breath, because you can't remember what he was going to say. Uh, the, yes, the, um, the, the, the rooms between levels where the time door is now after the, uh, after the level, but before the next one. You know what I'm talking about. The, uh, Auxiliary the, or the, the accompanying door, the do not take damage door, it's probably one of my favourite mechanics of a game because it's very, very much reminiscent and very sim. Ooh, everything is red. That's amazing. Uh, it's very similar to the deal with the devil, deal with the devil uh, mechanic of the Binding of Isaac, which I have been going on about because I'm into it. Uh, I played today's daily and it was absolute trash. <laughs> I hated it. That was just bad. Did you see that happen? Roll once in a while. That wasn't even the guy. That was just me not pressing the button. I was trying to time it so I didn't have to roll and then roll again in the cooldown, but it doesn't work. I mean, it does work that way, but I did it wrong. Okay. Shush. Um, the uh, deal with the devil mechanic in the Binding of Isaac is basically if you don't take damage during the floor, you get a chance to receive a special room after beating the boss, which is the deal with the devil room, where you can sell your HP in return for hopefully reasonably decent items. Now, they have changed this mechanic a few times over the years. They've essentially nerfed it. Uh, oftentimes, the deal with the devil will only contain yes, uh, chests of ill repute, that sort of thing. Um, where you don't get the opportunity to sell your life force to the devil, and therefore, you know, you don't get good stuff. But there is a chance of those chests given you can Anyway, I'm talking about Isaac as though we're not going to have plenty of Isaac to talk about when we play Isaac. Um, in fact, it's not quite the same. I think the balance between um, Isaac's deal with the devil and Dead Cells' don't get hit mechanic are similar. In Isaac, if you get hit, you lose a majority of the chance that you had to get a deal with the devil, whereas um, in Dead Cells, you get no chance to receive your reward from that string of 30 or 60, right? Whereas in Isaac, it's for the whole floor. But in Isaac, there are ways of mitigating it. For example, you would take a spirit heart, also known as a soul heart. In fact, correctly known as a soul heart. And only certain people call it spirit hearts, but there you go. Um, I don't think I want to do any of those now, because I've actually got a decent setup. So let's just put them in the stun grenade. And actually, this progress is going to stay with us for once. Um, 
Do that. Biters is great. Do that. Bleeding. I'm hope. I'm hoping that we can find some way of causing bleeding or just refactoring that. Um. I'll take sadism, which I did miss in the previous. Oh, I don't need it. Uh, in the previous, in the alpha, I missed sadism. So some of the new mutations are a bit different. But we were talking about the deal with the devil. You can get soul hearts, spirit hearts, demon hearts. Um, these hearts, when you get hit, don't count as damage in terms of the deal with the devil. Basically, you have to take red heart damage, um, which is literally damage on your red heart containers rather than your blue or black heart containers or indeed your bone heart containers which is a new type of heart that we haven't seen yet in any of the episodes that I've done because it came in with the last uh, uh, expansion pack I was going to say patch and I couldn't remember my words leave me alone in this although taking any damage of any type uh, aborts your progress you can restart that progress so I think it has a similar level of um, balance. But what we don't know is, because I haven't done it more than once, we oh, just, uh, use the map. Don't do silly things. Um, we don't know whether the expected payout from those don't take damage rooms is sort of commensurate with... See, this happened last... This happens in the alpha as well. Uh, you can see how salty I... I feel like I am not... Um, unjustified being salty about that because I didn't go anywhere near it, right? Uh, in my estimate of what happened there, I was nowhere near that thing and yet all of a sudden I've triggered an elite archer and it, it's attacking me and I don't want it to, <laughs> so leave me alone. Um, we don't know if because what we got last time was uh, f 4 plus twin blades. Now I can imagine that even if I were to get similarly powerful weapons they would not always be to my playstyle. The Twin Blades is one of the two uh, weapons that I actually find palatable in uh, like consistently so. Looks like a warning message from a guard. It's written in red, so it must be important. Make sure you don't miss your guard duty outside that monster's room. Wasn't used to chain up. Wouldn't like to have to do it all over again. One of these might have something good for it, isn't it? Yeah, a load of cash. Um, it could have been a shield, for example. I don't know. I do appreciate that my downward smash now gives me the opportunity to use the torch even more effectively. And also, did you notice that I just used a grenade? Because it's there and I can. Hmm. I thought so too. Thanks for saying so. I am getting better. Uh, so it could easily be that our... Um... Sorry, I'm just thinking... <laughs> my... Here's how my mind works. You're talking about something, so what you should do is think about something else, get distracted by the thing you were thinking, formulate that as a, a bit to talk about, and then go back to what you are doing, talking about the previous bit, and then once you've done that, you can happily forget the, um, the, the bit you started with. You've got to say, when you got distracted in the first place, what actually happens is I just fall silent. I don't really care which one I take because I'm not going to keep it. I, I can imagine maybe the Spartan Sandals are okay as a backup weapon. I don't really see them working for me. Um, it, yeah, it could have been a shield for a start. It could have been a uh, the Assassin's Blade. And it could have been the Twin Daggers, which it was. Um, but it could have been terrible for me. And me in particular, not just... Um, people in general, which is to also acknowledge that it could be general, for, uh, terrible for people in general, right? So if nobody likes a certain weapon, it could still have been that. Ramparts, no. I'm going to see if it can do something, you know, that I'm not very good at. There's a Minotaur scroll somewhere. Probably accessed via whatever that weird wobbly thing is over there. There's a Guardian scroll that straight up missed, so let's go and get it. Uh, we we could probably stand to put some HP up. But I don't like it up and so I will reserve judgment on whether those damage reward rooms, or rather, not taking damage reward rooms, are any good. Uh, we're going above. We've already been so stop it. Splash. Oh, itchy nose. Itchy knows when you've got a two-handed control scheme. Not the best thing in the world. 
There's a time door that I obviously didn't get to. I don't even think I considered looking to see if we'd made it to the time door. We're about to fail to make it to the next time door and we haven't even started getting that far yet. Do you know what? I'm kind of tempted. No, I like having... Oh, let's just sell it then. I like having um, some quick grenade action because we might be able to make that you know, considerably better. We already have that mutation available that <gasps> that does make that considerably better. So I think I'll hold on to that. We do need to go this way, unfortunately. We haven't unlocked another teleporter, which makes me a sad panda. Yes, this way. Oh, that was really bad timing, I'm afraid. Fine. We didn't take too much damage there. I would like you to die and be dead. Great. I still have this sort of in my head that we roll behind an enemy without fail, where of course in many cases the enemy is too far away for you to roll behind it without fail, and so uh, it's more sort of with fail. Good though. Hello, what? Something down there was attacking something. I don't even know what there was because I killed it quickly. Wow, game, stop being weird. There we go. So... I mean, the other trouble is, I mean, I can't, like, sort of, like, you know. If you don't know what I mean, I don't know if I can explain it to you. No, I mean, um, I could keep reinstalling the alpha and having it go on my own, because it doesn't say progress, so there's sort of no point, um, no point recording it, but there's no point not doing it just because I'm not recording it, right? I, I should be okay to record it. Can you not do that? Seems a bit rude. I don't need these things you're giving me. Right, where have we got to? Let's go back up there. Oop, this way. I'm so used to just jumping on walls that I can try and do a double jump and there's no wall there. No, not that one. This one. Thank you. So maybe I'll go back and see what sort of things we're likely to get from that. Because in the in the last episode when we had the... Um, the alpha still going and I was like this isn't saving progress so let's just you know go nuts I find myself doing really well despite the fact that I took two um, cursed chests and it was only because one of those cursed chests was sort of doubly cursed you know it's IRL cursed it's not just not just cursed cursed so um, it was actually that particular part of that level that was cursed at the time I, I cannot okay um that we died at all. I was unfortunately cursed with... Ouch. Fail to... Fail to... Mm, roll. <laughs> yeah, or even remember the word. Roll. Because... Hold on. And then the crunchy crunch. Dip, dip. Om. Um. In case you were wondering... A, yes, I'm quite happy to speak with my mouth full. And B, there's a Marks and Spencer shortbread. Shortbread. Marks and Spencer shortbread. Let's do that. Let's do that. Biters, yes. Happy with biters. Ah, so in the alpha, they took away my sadism. Or at least I haven't unlocked sadism and they've gated it behind something else. Or. Or. It's gone. But. They've replaced it with the one where every time you make a kill in hand to hand combat, it reduces the cooldown on all of your skills. Why. Why did you only jump once? I must have accidentally jumped after I. I'm sad by that. <laughs> tried to stomp on this and I was just being attacked by bad dudes instead. Kill. Ah! More! They're not dead. <laughs> Powerful grenade three. Damage to a poison target. I think I say no. I like having the speed of the infantry grenade being, you know, reproducible. Reusable often. Wow. Am I just forgetting how far these zombies can go? in between levels, or are they somehow better at jumping now than they were then? I can't help but feel that it's not me, it's you, game. Because 
I've just been through two levels full of these zombie things. And neither of the levels... Ow. Okay, not ow. <laughs> neither of the levels had zombies that could reach me from that sort of nonsense of a distance. That was uh, quite rude of you. I don't know why I'm trying this flaming level again. It is the bane of my existence. Although I do know that there are a couple of... Um, uh, blueprints available to collect. One of them in the Slumbering Sanctuary, I believe, with the OP golems. Just keep doing this. I think I'm still falling a little bit foul of the fact that these um, these scrolls are still causing enemies to level up. Which is now changed, I believe. That is fine. I didn't even look to see if it was better, because it's better. I would prefer a blade that is different from this one. But I think a balanced blade is fine, just because the speed of the... Um, the speed of it, basically. It means I can attack those very likely to hurt me. Right, that was silly. Um, explodey bat thing is nice and quickly. There's one. Sadists. Sadists? <laughs> That's how we work. Sadist stiletto. Now, I'm aware that the sadists uh, range for the discerning grenade holder, uh, sword holder, I suppose, is... Um, one hit and you It's basically permanently having the, uh, the old, um, the, the curse from a cursed chest, etc. on you at all times. One hit and you're dead. I am probably never going to be that good at video games at all to make that worthwhile. And I don't remember seeing anything that made it sensible, like that, that improved it. Somehow, this is the get good bit. Touch it and things change. Hmm, something's changed. Can someone in the comments please tell me what changes? Thank you for this. I'm tempted by this. This is going to be good in future floors. Hold, hold on. Just chill out. I know that I said that I like the infantry grenade for many reasons. I know this thing changed, but this thing changed last time as well. What? Okay, so the first time I did that, I'm pretty sure that happened. The second time I did it, that zombie wasn't there. So I thought, oh, that's just a coincidental zombie, right? And then this time it has, you know, knocked out of the park once again. Oh, I can't do that yet. How about this? Why would you do... I don't... I don't know why you managed to hit me, but I couldn't hit you. We talk about this? I think we need to have a little bit of a discussion. Roll. I'm looking forward to playing Isaac again. And I it's arbitrary that I've even decided to do it the way I am. Get out of here. Are these the same? No, not quite. You do that, then I'm gonna do this, sell this, and then get the heck out of here. I don't know why that went weird, actually, because the first time I used that, even though I didn't intentionally use it, it teleported me nowhere. It got me back to where I started. I'm so confused. Please leave me alone and don't let that... Um... <laughs> that hateful thing. I hate those mushrooms, because they can attack you from right across the world. Around the world, around the world. I do appreciate that my uh, cooldown on my grenade is currently at 8 seconds instead of the f 18 seconds that it was before. I think no. I like my ice grenades because it means I can get more hits in on those blinking uh, mushrooms before they can attack me again. Because honestly, why? Do this. Good. They, they shouldn't have the range that they do. I do really get salty at many of the enemies in this game that can just see through walls. <laughs> it is a little bit of a like a cheap thing to be complaining about, but you know, I think I've played I've got enough hours in this now to know what I hate. And it's it's everything. I think this game is just bad in every way. No, not true. Um but certain things it's when the you can't anticipate the thing, right? Like how did you manage why are you I don't even feel like I was in control of what just happened. And that is basically all my complaint. I was not in control of what just happened, and yet it happened. 
Almost, like, without my consent. This is non-consensual not rolling. It's non-consensual landing in a pit. All of a sudden I'm going really fast and I don't mean to. Or we should probably... No. <laughs> Just non... What's the fuck? Nah. I was hoping for something with crits. <laughs> Why? This shop does not have a teleport out, and that is not fair. Okay, that's not actually not fair, but I'm feeling whiny today, so bear with. Bear with, bear with. Oi, more things. I'm... Oh, you're going to stab me, and it's going to hurt. Let's go with perps for two reasons. First of all, I need to, and second of all, it does actually have slightly more... Throw the grenade! My god, man. And then those things showed up, and I didn't even know they were happening. Deal with it. Sort yourself out. There's... These mushrooms, they just make this level <laughs> so much more treacherous. Even if you don't include the fact that you've got... You know, these enemies constantly coming out of the ground, just... Just specifically aimed at me. I'm pretty sure they knew me when they made this game, and they were going, I will create a game specifically designed to work against that person's, you know, areas of acuity. There we go. The Nisa Balance Blade is nice and quick against those things. I'm, I'm going to kill everything, even though I really shouldn't. <laughs> I got an achievement for that last time I did it. Well, okay. Not the last time I did it, but recently. There's money up there, but I, I'm not going back. You, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, you've broken me, okay, game? You, you've won, okay? That's it. I'm not playing your nonsense flipping... See, I, I want to say I'm not playing your game, but you are a game. So saying I'm not playing your game to a game... Uh, it's so difficult to say no to this. But I'm going to say no to this. And the reason I'm going to say no to this is that it does not match anything that we've got. Uh, a first level torch, when I've got burning synergies and oil, is way better than an anything level ice. And now I've got a nice grenade, and I do stand by that to, to quite an extent, simply because, you know, it's, it is helping. Uh, I, I can throw it, <laughs> most importantly. It's like the most important thing about the ice grenade right now. <laughs> How did I... I think I killed it before it managed to do the thing. Just by virtue of the fact that I actually put down that um, skill before it was too late. Nice. Is this a wall one? Yes. And it's a kebab -abab, which is friendly because I've done terribly. Also, if we were going for don't get hit type rewards, I... Do not qualify. <laughs> I don't think there are enough enemies in these levels that I can get through 60 of the damn things without failing to... Ow. That was actually uh, really terrible timing on my part, to be honest with you. I kind of notice these things keep happening in the same groupings. Nice. Oi! No, you don't. Leave it, soldier. Soldier? Leave it out. Devil boy. Net. Okay, good. And please find me some HP, some... I think I've done myself a service by accidentally getting my Whoa grenade and uh, shooty thing the wrong way around. Because now, um, I keep trying to throw a grenade and end up putting the, the, the crossbowmatic down. Which is actually better, because uh, I can run away and it still does damage. Okay, I've got such an itchy nose, it's not like I'm drinking alcohol. What do you mean? <laughs> if I have a drink, or two, it has a habit of giving me an itchy nose. Don't know if this happens to anybody else, I'm not really... Not like, I'm not saying I should be special in any way, but at the same time... It seems a bit weird to me. <laughs> if it happens to you, please leave a comment and give me some uh, hope of solidarity. Yeah, I'm not doing your jumping tricks anymore. There's nothing up here. And it just 
makes me so mad. So, so mad. Let's go down here. Do you think there's anything in that unexplored area? I'm going to say no. Let's say no. Stop itching, nose. I will drink more tea to ameliorate. It's obviously some, some, uh, obviously some sort of tea demon. Like maybe a, a ghost of a baron or something. Someone who uh, is very much offended by the failure to correctly drink uh, tea. But not just correctly drink. I mean, I, I think I can drink it correctly. It's not that complicated of a motion. But look at the size of this damn floor. I hardly found anything. Well, there's more stuff over there. Never mind. Um, also, insufferable crypt. Why? So when I don't drink tea quickly enough, or often enough, he, he comes back to haunt me via my itchy nose. Let us take... This. It's about time we started finding rarer blueprints. Also, the dinosaurs just get through this thing and... I did! Haha! <laughs> So I don't really want it. <laughs> Not for some time indeed, but... No. Yes. Um, I'm glad that I've got another blueprint unlocked. I think I'm more likely to get stuck in amongst baddies than I am going to be running from baddie to baddie within 15 seconds. Mm. It's not just about tea. It's about the shortbreads that you dip in it. Mm -hmm. I've got two shortbread. But I've nearly I've done more than half my tea. Right, the insufferable crypt is this joker. Who I can never beat. I'm glad that I kept my... Oh, good start. Yeah, do that. I have nothing to say. Roll. Oh, he's done it. What a legend. I'm not going to use my thing yet. Because that seems like it's going to go wrong. Now chuck this. Yes. Poisons the enemy. Wait, I thought we burned the enemy. Poisons damage to a burning target. So if we can actually set this thing on fire, we can get poison on it. And then... And then... We can uh, do more DPS to it. I'm really not a fan of this whole situation right now. Uh, update, Tampa Monkey. No. Let's guess this one off your list. No. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from her, you bitch. I am doing okay, maybe? Nope. We do okay yet? Oh, what a waste of that. Bad timing. Why? Again, I got stun locked. It's not supposed to happen this way. Just put some fire on the ground where they're going to pop up. See, that one's going... Yep. Yeah. Man, trying to keep track of which ones are about to pop up below you and which ones are trying to charge you. A little bit uh, monstrous. Hey! None of that, please. I already rolled. Really need to stop rolling when it's not necessary. I think that's half the, diff half the problem I'm having, right? Because I roll to be somewhere. It's like just quick motion, right? But uh, it doesn't help. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is not roll until I really... Oh, that was really bad. Really feel like I have to. One more. Yes. Because um, then it's available. But I'm rolling just because it's a thing. How do I do this? Help. There's no way out of that. I've tried standing in many places to deal with that problem. Run. <laughs> Tigger would like to bounce. Ow.
He's managing. Um, we might do this. If you can roll out the way of them when they're really slowly coming towards you and there's no reason to get hit by them. We might not do this. <laughs> because that was really fast and I didn't have time to react. I'm just going to let that thing do all the work. Nice. Well done. Rolled into that, didn't you? Yep. Rolled into that, didn't you? That was a pretty good fight, but oh, I'm so bad at paying attention. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum. I'll do better next year. New Year's resolution. Pay attention in Dead Cells, because you're going to have to pay attention in Isaac as well. Oh, look. Terrible stuff that I hate. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will join me in the next episode when I will be trying to use this slow ass heck thing to do any damage to anything. It seems so powerful, but you have to not get hit. And this thing, which means I can use this thing. So, thank you for watching. The next episode is going to have some great synergies, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. In fact, I might just play this. Until then, I'll see you. And I have to press.